Right then guys, here's another basic thing, okay, and it is quite important, something to know about, is about your thermostat, okay? Your engine should be running at a certain temperature, which means that all the components have uh, expanded to the right size. Um, your fueling strategy will be worked on the engine temperature as well, okay? So if your thermostat is not working properly, usually people relate a thermostat to uh, not opening and therefore it will overheat but it also works the other way it can be very inefficient it opens too early or it doesn't close properly which means you get a drop in uh, engine running temperature which isn't too good because it, 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 it accelerates wear but it also gives you more um, fuel usage okay so to be economical you have to be on the ball with this an old vehicle yeah you can expect to change the thermostat very very quickly so in the day at 92 degrees centigrade she's sitting at that now i've just been for a road test after replacing the thermostat which you can see here yeah and there's a funny story with this and i've got to tell you this because i went in to buy one yesterday and that they're 25 quid yeah they're expensive because they come with a housing now they gave me the box I opened the box I had a look and there was a second hand component in it can you believe it with antifreeze all over it? and I said well yeah that isn't right and they agreed with me obviously and gave me they actually gave me a Borg Beck one which is a little bit more expensive I think that was like 32 quid so quids in there uh, however I've changed this this is unreliable this is not working properly okay didn't need to take it out and check it I could see by the gauge unless the gauge is inaccurate which I don't think so anyway I'm going to turn her off now <laughs> we've also got to uh, over 100,000 miles which is a little celebration but yeah yeah basically a thermostat is very important not just for the summertime for your cooling but it's also to uh, make sure that it's regulating the flow of the coolant at the right times even in the winter okay i know some guys will say yeah i ain't worried about it that's all right but it does make a difference with the correct thermostat opening at the right time what you're going to do in modern cars like the, the cabin heater will heat up a lot quicker you can demist your windscreen quicker the engine will get up to temperature and it will be more efficient and this is what it's all about that's why we have a thermostat one myth and this is in the summertime is um, leaving the thermostat out if you have a problem with it well don't do it because it can over it can cause overheating in your engine and i learned about this uh, on a, a truck engine course just recently modern engines are built differently to the old style engines so old school thinking might not work for the modern modern vehicle I am also pissed off because working on this, I had uh, a set of sockets, didn't have any E sockets, but normal sockets will fit E bolts or set screws, okay? So I've got an eight mil one here. I laid it down on top of the grill and the socket disappeared. Can you believe it? I can't find it anywhere. Even after moving the vehicle, it hasn't dropped on the ground. So it's in the gully somewhere in the, in the, in the scuttle pan gully, which I'm gonna have to try and find really really annoying eight mil not 10 mil it's an eight mil and it seems to be uh, a plague of mine i seem to lose eight mil sockets for some reason on voxels it's the second time it's happened on a second voxel that i've worked on so <coughs> i always keep a few spares or I always have like uh, at least uh, a repetition of tools or replica of what i've got so i've got doubles of almost everything so that's all right but i would have been in the stuck otherwise but yeah gone on test drive she is uh, running a little bit better believe it or not and uh, the difference in 10 degrees centigrade i've got a little bit more power yeah vehicles are different depending on the make depending on the engine and as i said you have to check the data now if you have a hainsey manual just be aware that you're looking at the right engine and the right system for it because sometimes you can have three or four engines in a hainz manual and you might get the wrong one but this job is an easy job it's done that's what 10 minutes a little test drive check the, the fluid levels and away you go yeah and you'll see here that i've topped it up with a an old coffee machine jug yeah which is not going to be used again because i know you'll be thinking for oh, that coffee's going to taste bad in the morning but not at all antifreeze is poisonous it damages your kidneys so you don't want to be drinking that do you 
So anyway, that's just a little bit of a basic thing, all right? Keep on top of stuff like this because it will save you money in the long run, not just through uh, fuel economy and emissions that are put out, but also engine wear, yeah? So that's it from me, and we'll be seeing you in the next video. <laughs> See you later.